Hi there, uh, I'm addressing the curtains on the boat. As you can probably recall from previous videos, uh, the previous owner had trash bags taped over the windows. Now I plan on making something more permanent, but for right now those trash bags have got to go. And so what I've done is I'm over at my mom's house and she's hemming up uh, the remainder of a, uh, what was it, a tablecloth? Yeah. It was a tablecloth that she had several of that weren't in use. And basically I've cut them to a size that just fits over the porthole windows. And I've gone to the hardware store and I bought this stuff. I've already cut it up, but it's tape and it's Velcro. And you get uh, one side is felt. I don't know if you can see this. That's, that's a piece of the felt and it's got a sticky backing. And the other side is the hook and loop part of the Velcro itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to affix in three locations on each of these curtains a piece of this felt Velcro and then I can stick the hook and loop to the uh, existing vinyl wall which I do plan on replacing at some point. So these aren't the permanent curtains, at least I hope not, but they're a lot more permanent than white trash bags taped to the uh, side of the boat which looks pretty ghetto. But anyway, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and put this together the Velcro and she's busy sewing the hems where we cut the uh, tablecloth at and uh, once I've got these put together I'll put them up on the boat and continue this from there. On my boat the previous owner decided to cover up these uh, port windows here with trash bags that were held in place with uh, looks like painters tape and that's not a real good solution. I'd like my boat to look a little more sailor, a little less trailer. So uh, just real quick like I just tried this out with a uh, uh, pillowcase and I bought some velcro and I just attached the velcro to the top and then placed the velcro directly on the uh, fabric and when I realized this worked I measured everything out kind of, sort of and just cut up a tablecloth. This is going to be a temporary solution, although not as temporary as these trash bags, because I do plan on doing something with these walls. But in the meantime, I uh, really don't want to get rid of that view while I'm in here working on the boat and doing stuff, but I also want some privacy because before I do these walls, I'll probably spend a considerable amount of time sleeping here. So. Let me go ahead and peel these off and show you uh, the new. Alright, this is the first curtain. I've just kind of put it in place. And as you can see, I've just added this Velcro sticky stuff here. It doesn't want to stick to the walls so well. So what I've done is I've taken more of the Velcro backing sticky than, and you probably can't see that. It starts here and it ends here. Whereas this is just like a I don't know, three quarters of an inch. This is about two inches of the Velcro. And because it was a really cold la night last night and there's some condensation here, uh, these aren't sticking as well as I'd like them to, but I've got a heater running and I'm just gonna go ahead and heat for a while. But really all I've gotta do now to put these curtains up is just drop that side there and that side there. And then I've got a middle piece right here that holds the center for additional support. And now I've got a fully covered uh, window, porthole, whatever it is you want to call these things in yacht terminology. And uh, if I want to, I could actually add little stickers down on the bottom here to kind of cover this bottom. It's a little short, but uh, provides a good bit of privacy as far as that goes. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let this dry out a little bit, and I'll just take a quick look around after I've done them all. Okay, I've attached all of my Velcro, and uh, one of the things that I've kind of learned is a, a good way to do it is just go ahead and stick the Velcro right to that, and then peel the backing off, and then just press it to the wall like so. Another thing that I learned after doing this one is where I used two pieces of Velcro right here. Uh, on this side, I just used one long piece of Velcro, and that way you've got stability, uh, and when you go to pull one off, all you got to do is just press down on the other one, give it a tug, and off she comes. And the same with this side. And that way you don't pull your Velcro off the wall if you've got a little moisture or whatever. Now I haven't done the center parts. I'm not even sure that they're necessary to do a center part, but I've done the edges uh, 
three pieces all together, a long piece in the middle and a smaller piece on either end. And I, I guess I'll just put a tiny piece in the center of each in case uh, I develop moisture and they want to pull off or something like that. On this side, uh, I put two separate pieces, one here and one here, which I should have just put one long span, which I might do. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just put the tape all the way across the top. Of course, that's a waste of a lot of tape. It's about $2 a foot at your local hardware store. You can buy it in bulk and just pull it off a roll and cut it in a lot of cases. It's, as I mentioned, I'm, I plan on replacing these walls. And at that point, I'll put a more permanent and prettier solution. But this looks a whole lot better than a garbage bag. And I can pull these off and once I wash my windows get kind of a view. I get a view of the boat over here, but over here I get a nice view of the bay and it looks kind of pretty once again once I clean those windows, but that's going to be a different video. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you for making temporary, quick, easy to install curtains. And this is just a, uh, you know, can be a sheet. Uh, in this case it was an old uh, tablecloth. Just cut it up to size pretty close and put it on there. It'll give me some privacy should I decide to spend the night before I put those curtains up there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.